The aviation industry in Kenya is expected to double in size in the next few years as the country begins expanding its airports. This is according to the International Air Transport Association, that's IATA. IATA predicts that the expansion in the local market could result in an additional 11.3 million passenger journeys, resulting in nearly half a million more jobs injected into the economy and 1.1 trillion shillings boost to the GDP by 2038. Currently, the remodeling of the terminal separating arriving and departing passengers at the JKIA has already increased the airline's capacity. Plans are also underway to expand Malindi and Ukunda airports in the south coast. Air transport is no longer the preserve of people who have money. It is now an essential need for everybody. Um, as you would appreciate, with the current weather in, in the country today, Accessing certain parts of this country cannot be done without air. But if we don't have air transport, we don't have air connectivity, it becomes a challenge. The 9th African, Caribbean and Pacific Group Summit of Heads of States and Government has closed, having adopted the Nairobi Nguvu Yapamoja Declaration, which will be the guiding document for the group for the next three years. The summit resolved to establish an endowment fund with Papua New Guinea and Ghana, having already pledged funding. President Uhuru Kenyatta, who is the incoming president of the summit, announced that Kenya will contribute half a million U.S. dollars, an equivalent of 50.8 million Kenya shillings, to launch the fund. Angola has formally proposed to host the 10th ACP summit in 2022. 19 heads of state and government and representatives from 70 of the 79 member states attended the 9th ACP summit, giving credence to the Nairobi Nguvuya Pamoja declaration. Light, uh, a proposal to... Under this declaration, we will strive to know each other, appreciate each other's strengths, and work together to support our individual as well as our collective aspirations. The air and sea trading link would be the first step towards the realization of our long-term goal of increasing ACP's share of global trade from the current 3% to over 10% over the next 10 years. 